Our journey starts from the tropical heartland of Southeast Asia, where mangoes were native over 4,000 years ago. Mangoes are an essential part of this region's culture and history, and these are often known as king of fruits. Mango farming has spread worldwide as a lucrative business. It has grabbed the taste buds of so many people from the sun-soaked gardens of Pakistan to the lush green plantations of Mexico. Generally, mangoes need well-drained, deep, and ventilated soil. Rich, loamy, and alluvial soils are considered ideal for mango farming. Spring is the best weather to plant mango farms by both mango saplings and mango seeds. Well, we welcome you into the fascinating world of mango farming where each tree is certified to the perfect relationship of science and nature. Fresh mangoes taste best and they can be used in all forms. Young raw mangoes are used in chutneys, sauces, and pickles, while the mature fruits are set to be processed and prepared with mango juices, squash, jams, and many more. With this king of fruits, you will enjoy the flavorsome video of mango farming, cultivation, and processes. This video will awaken your taste buds. Mangoes have 1,000 varieties throughout the world. Each one has its aroma, flavor, and texture. Farmers show a responsible act by choosing the right variety according to the region, land, and climate of their surroundings to produce the best quality of the fruit. The secret of successful mango farming lies in selecting the right place, proper soil preparation, timely watering procedure, and having a grip over diseases and pest control. Nowadays, farmers use traditional ways with modern technology to create a perfect yield of mangoes, mangoes propagated by seedlings or by pruning. Both ways are trustworthy. In the rain-fed areas, mango farming begins in July-August, while in the irrigated areas, February-March is the best time. So, give the thumbs up to the video and enjoy the mouth-watering end. For healthy nourishment, young plants are irrigated frequently. However, grown-up trees are watered with an interval of 10 to 15 days. In the intercrops, farms such as guavas, peaches, or papayas, water and nutrient requirements are way too separate, so it is essential to serve them accordingly. Mango farming is a lucrative business and has a plus point of low cost as the trees are hardy and comparatively have low maintenance cost. Anyways, a balanced temperature of about 24 to 27 degrees Celsius is a must. If farmers have a regular irrigation system, then the trees bear a high temperature of 48 degrees while the pH in mango cultivation is intended to be 5.5 to 7.5. At the flowering stage, the bearing trees are not watered too much. Rather, it is ideal to withhold irrigation procedure. This act adds more flowers to the farms. It results in more yield from the vegetation growth. In the first three to four years, the production seems very low, almost two to three kilograms per tree. and increases 10 to 15 kilograms in these years. However, after that time, production rapidly increased to 100 kilograms in its 10th year. Harvesting time is almost there. After full flowering of 82 to 120 days, the farm indicates to identify the harvesting moment in the mango farm. Visual bints are very casual in harvesting the mangoes. 
flattened shoulder from the stem end, fully grown sides, yellowish green end, and full yellow pulp indicate the time of soon harvesting. When the specific gravity of the fruit approaches 1.01 to 1.02 or 1 to 2 mangoes fall to the ground, it shows the harvesting time has landed on the farm. Usually, farmers pay special care to the harvesting procedure as the fruit can easily be bruised or scratched. Labor generally carry gloves to not do any harm through their nails. Fruit does not grab from the tree, but it's cut from the stalk. They keep healthy fruits in canvas picking bags that are paid special care to their cleanliness. A cutter, clean canvas bags, high ladders, labor, separator machines, and vehicles for transporting the fruits are some of the necessary elements of harvesting. Fresh, ready-to-eat fruits are kept in a specific cooling temperature soon after harvesting to maintain their taste and aroma. The rest of the fruit is supposed to be brought to the factories for further processing. Harvested mangoes are taken from bags by hand one by one and kept in trays or cartons. Packing and dispatching of the fruit on its first day of harvesting is necessary. Furthermore, the place where farmers keep the fruit is well ventilated so that the fruit remains fresh until the consumer consumes it. Fruits are splitter as claimed by variety, weight, diameter, and size. During the grading procedure, immature, unripe, or underweight fruits are kept separate while the ripe fruits are placed in wooden crates. They stock mangoes at 9 to 10 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, mangoes are saved for 18 to 21 days. And freshly matured mangoes can be saved for 23 to 26 days. From this stage, the mango process begins in the factories. Crates are being unloaded to wash the mangoes. There are several steps in the factory, such as washing, blanching, peeling, cutting, thermal treatments, and many more. First of all, mangoes are placed on belts and are washed with chlorinated water to decrease the ratio of impurities and microbial load. Then they are passed through the boiling water for two to three minutes to reduce enzymes to maintain their fresh color, and this procedure also reduces the chances of turning the fruit brown. After that, mangoes are processed through a large dryer that keeps them fresh. Through the machines, the peeling procedure reaches an end and here the cutting procedure begins. It is done by hand for the same size and neatness purpose. Labor is done quickly, within a few hours it is completed just in a single day. Here the pulping machine activates and the whole pulp is pulled out from the fruit. Pulp is usually sold to other companies to process into jams, squash, nectar, and desserts. However, before preparing the different items, the pulp is heated at a temperature of 85 to 90 degrees for two to three minutes to an active enzyme. Other additives such as sugar, citric acids, etc. are added at this stage as needed. Finally, our pulp is ready for packaging and dispatching. According to the weight, the pulp is poured into bags and is ready to transport to the related consumer. For more similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.